All right, laying out a common rafter using the framing square. You can use uh, clips, stair clips, or hopefully you made one of these in level one. And we'll do a 612 slope. And the nice thing about the this gauge is it works all the way from one end of the material to the other. It keeps you from flipping the square around. And uh, locks right on. So you never have to look at your numbers again. So anyways, I'm set at six inches here, 12 inches there. So same as uh, doing this with a uh, speed square you want to start at the end of your material and that way we can hook our tape and measure and then we want to come over one half of the thickness of the ridge in this case I'm coming over three quarters to represent a uh, inch and a half ridge board and then for a 612 roof my unit length is 13.42 And with the 13.42 uh, unit length, and I'm going to multiply that by oh, three for a short rafter because I got short material here. So, anyways, you multiply by your unit run. So that's six, 12, 9, 10, 3, 40.26 inches. So I will measure 40 and a quarter. Like so. And everything is exactly the same as the speed square as we have a plumb line at your uh, at your length. So we measure the same distance from point to point. And then once again we can just slide this over to represent a uh, our uh, seat cut so I can go in many different ways here with the gauge you can mark mark your plumb lines any which way note that we move the speed square the framing square every which way we want we will always get that same angle Okay. here here spin it 180 degrees okay never turn it all the way around especially uh, when you are working without uh, the gauge so anyways I'm going to give myself a two inches of bearing right there like so there is my bearing now the nice thing is with the uh, the gauge like this is we can measure one foot of run like so and we don't have to do the calculation of our unit length to measure that so same thing applies when we are uh, holding the framing square this way note I could go to even 17 inches 17 inches from here to here is outside of fascia inside of fascia so remember this is an inch and a half so you can measure your projection a lot easier when you are using the gauges okay because you can go all the way up to a 23 inch right all the way with your framing square like so so that is how you lay out a common rafter with the framing square